Hello, uh, what you're going to see in this video is a quick test that I set up to try to determine if um, eBay radiator fans or just like ones of the cheaper variety are as good as name brand ones like, well, to be specific, a spell fan that I got to replace one of my eBay fans that failed. It wasn't a motor failure or anything like that. It was actually like one of these ribs here, or all of them in fact, failed and it kind of tipped up and just got worn away by this accessory belt here while I was out on track. So when I came out off the track, popped my hood, I was just down to one fan. That's why the test has only one here as opposed to two. This has places for two fans. However, I've blocked off the opening for the other. And as you can see down here, I blocked off half the radiator so that the surface area of a radiator that one fan would serve doesn't change. Uh, to monitor the performance of the fan, what I have set up is a pressure differential gauge. It measures the pressure differential between this volume inside of uh, the radiator ducting against the atmospheric pressure measured by this tube, and then it kind of shows the result. If I can see if I blow into this one, the gauge moves. The fan should do the same thing. Uh, to control the experiment more, I have a, a 12 volt DC power supply. I use this as opposed to a battery because batteries, all the voltages change as you use them. And I want the fan that was tested first to have an unfair advantage over the second one. So that's just a control item as if your experiment isn't, isn't controlled of what value is it really. So um, here's the cheap fan, the eBay sort of one. I think this particular one was branded as a Zergo for what it's worth. Um, why don't we fire it up and see what happens. So you can see here it's drawing about 0.2 inches of water, a uh, vacuum inside of this reservoir. We'll take a look at what voltage is putting out here at the power supply, just so that can be on record as well. So we have a multimeter. And that's what we have. Ignore the sign, that's not important. Well, there's my helper down there. But anyway, that was 0.2 inches of water of pressure differential across that. If you're not familiar with those units, you can have Google convert it to PSI or something you are more comfortable with or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to shut this down and switch the fans out and see what this spell fan will do. The spell fan installed, um, as you can see, nothing about the experiment has changed. It's all still the same. Um, well, let's fire it up and see how this thing performs. That looks like a 0.28, so yeah, not surprisingly, um, the spell fan seems to work better. Well, it clearly works better. It's drawing a greater pressure differential, and let's see if I can get this situated properly. It's doing it at the same voltage, so it's a fair test. Let's shut that thing down. So yeah, um, I already ran that experiment before starting the video and I calculated the percent difference. So between 0.28 and 0.2, it's a 33% difference in pressure differential across the core uh, between the two fans. So the pressure differential is what causes the air to move through your radiator and this one produces more of it so it's you know, cool your car better obviously. Um, well, I have the two fans side by side. I'll just show you some differences in the way they're constructed as well. You can see how here these things don't have a lot of thickness to them. Um, that's actually why one of these fans failed on me. I'm sure it didn't help that it was mounted horizontally, but still the motor and blades just fell into my radiator and then popped back out and ended up on the accessory belt and it was all just kind of ground away. Um, this one, you can see there's some more dimension to it. So hopefully I won't have that problem again. That's what motivated me to get this better fan. And I figured if I had a better fan, I might as well see if it performed better too. Uh, other differences, the motor's clearly different. The back is different of it. Um, blade design looks similar, although I think these blades are a little bit wider. 
And then one difference that I think could account for a lot of the change in performance is look at how big the gap is between the fan and the cowl here. You can almost put a finger in it. Uh, the spell fan, it's a much smaller gap, so I feel like it seals better, and the air management that it has going on here is just better. You can see how that's a lot tighter. You can see the two side by side. So, yeah, you, you got what you pay for. Uh, if you need the extra performance, then get a nice one. If you're fine with the cheaper option or you don't need that much cooling capacity, then here you go. This is about a quarter of the price.